exciting package to open. This is from Made by Cooper. So I've ordered some um, embroidered patches, which is something that I've never made before. And I've also ordered some pins. So I've ordered three pins. And yeah, this is just gonna be one of the pins because two of the designs, we went back and forth just a little bit uh, with the artwork, which is really good that they like allow you to change the artwork a bunch of times. So I'm gonna open this and show you what I've got. <gasps> I'm excited. Oh, I really hope they turn out. Oh, I think they look good. I've never, I've never had patches made before. So here are are oh, the patches that I've got. Let me take one out and shake them. Oh, they look nice. I was a bit worried that like the detail wouldn't show up, but that's um that's come out really nice actually. They've got like a iron-on reverse on the back. So like if you don't want to sew, you can just iron it on, but you can still sew it on as well. But yeah, you can put it on your bag or your jacket. You might recognize the design because you're probably sick of seeing these by now. So that is the sticker version. And then that is the patch version. So it's a, I've changed the colors up a little bit because I wanted to have like a colored background. <gasps> That's really cool. I've never, I've never made patches before. But I've always thought that they look really cool. Oh, this one looks really good. Okay. I'll try again. Oh, I also just saw a glimpse of the pins and the pins look really nice and I'm really excited. Okay, first things first. But yeah, so this one says grow your own way, which is a little kind of play on words of the song, um, like go your own way by Fleetwood Mac. Cause I like a bit of Fleetwood Mac. Oh, that looks really cool. But yeah, so that's why I've done some like musical notes. Yeah, maybe I'll sell them individually, but do like a sort of deal if you get both of them. So I think they would make like a nice set and obviously they're, you know, both plant themes. So they like go together. So that's the patches. And there's going to be a lot of <laughs> editing out as I try to open a package. This is what usually happens. How can I get in here? Ah, oh, stable. Oh wow, it is so shiny. So this is my bluebell cat. So this is like all like gold solid, like, what's the word? Gold hard enamel. So it's very, very shiny. And it's got all these bluebells on. Oh, I think that looks really nice. Yeah, I've never done a pin before that had like a sort of solid metal. Uh, shape but yeah so I'm gonna go I'm gonna go through all these and see like what ones are first and what ones are seconds this one was the first one that I got out and I think it looks pretty perfect I can't see yeah I can't see any flaws on that so yeah really really happy um I think I'm gonna show Tom now and see what he says have you had had a look do you have any seconds I have only looked at that one. That was the first one I looked at. Oh, this one looks and, um, perfect. It looks great, doesn't it? Um, Are you filming it? I am filming. <laughs> <laughs> do I sound, do I have my, I'm filming, no. I'm filming voice. Do I sound hey, the It looks so good. It looks really good. I have way? to, um, I have to design some backing cards. Yeah, it's raining. Um, <laughs> sorry if there's, well, it might be maybe nice ASMR. It's rain. background music. Background <laughs> the, um, sounds. White noise or something. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yes, I was just saying that I, yeah, I'm really, really happy with the patches and the pins and that's not focusing. That one's best. I really like, I really like that one. Oh, Tom, show which one, what one do you prefer? What one do you like best? So, so yeah, the good, good finds only yeah. one. I really like the grow your own way one. Oh, people in the comments. Which one do you prefer? Do you like the... Well, this one, the colours all seem more complementary to me. That one, they seem a bit more contrasted. Maybe. But sometimes Which contrasted good. is contrasted good. Contrasted means it stands it out more. Stand. It does stand out more. But, I suppose but, it yeah, depends that, that what... one is... 
that one's more it's sort of subtle. Shelly. Stop yeah. moving it away and making it blurry. <laughs> I love you. How many did you get? Mm, no idea. No idea. Tom's always asking me these questions. Like, How many did you get? How much money did you spend? I'm like, uh, I've got it. I've got it printed out and written in my like. Um, bookkeeping folder, but I can't remember these numbers. <laughs> I probably should. Good morning. It is Friday. I think it's still morning. I'm kind of having a chilled day today, but I thought I'd do a task that is kind of time consuming, but doesn't really require too much like thought. And that is, I have got in this box all these postcards and I've got, well, slightly less than 250 now. But on the back of them, I've got my old Instagram name and I am <laughs> handwriting all these on these sticky labels and I'm going to cut it out and, and yeah, just, just update those. Um, I probably could like print this out on the computer, but then I'd have to work out how small to do them and I'd probably waste a bunch of the labels and I'm quite happy I'm nice and cozy in my dressing gown on the sofa and I'm watching the Lizzie Bennett diaries on the TV so yeah I'm nice and cozy you you all keep asking in the comments anyway so um my name is Lizzie Bennett and George Wickham is texting me <laughs> benefit of the benefit of the doubt. Well, you're off carpooling with Bing. I'm the one stuck babysitting Ricky. It is Sunday and we're just back from a run. We went for a longer run today. So we did about six kilometers, which is why I'm the same color as my top. Um, it's also very warm out here and we did like a sort of fast bit at the end as well. So I'm very red in the face and very sweaty and hot. Where did I, Tom, where did I spot that one, that one blue, blue, oh no, there's a couple actually. Yeah, I think these are the first, or first of this, first of this season. Look, blue blueberry, this has still got loads of green ones on. Most of the blueberries are green at the moment, but does it want to come off? Yay! <laughs> The first blue blueberry and there's a little one around here <laughs> yeah I, I ate one of the cherries it was really nice just now oh the garden looks so nice <laughs> check you out with your two watering have you got one with rainwater and one with um yeah that's got rain, uh... rainwater tap water <laughs> check you out Check these cherries out. Oh my goodness. Tom wanted to get rid of this cherry tree, but actually this year the it's done it really grow. well. Yeah, but it's got but it does lots. Have cherries, I think we only got about five cherries last year. But does this mean I have to keep it another year? Yes, you do. Seriously. Look at all these cherries. Well, actually, that's new growth actually, isn't it? Maybe it is finally starting to grow. Oh, they look so good. This loganberry is so long, isn't it? That is a good haul, isn't it? Look at that. So it's Sunday now and I'm gonna work out some sort of design for the backing cards for the pins. So I thought I would come up with a design that would work for all three cap pins. So because they're a like floral cap pin, I've come up with this design. For my cats, I've got a bluebell cat, a tulip cat and a daisy cat. So I thought I'd include all three flowers at the bottom and then just do some like twinkly stars. And I drew this on the iPad. I just wanted to show you how I did this. I ended up taking a photograph of one of the cat pins and I just had it on the back of one of these, which this is actually like a backing card for one of my other pins, like the mermaid pin. So I thought if I do it like that, it will just kind of give me an idea about like, kind of like 
the sizing and proportions and stuff. But I thought I would draw with my coloured pencils because I thought that that would look quite nice having like the traditional pencils. <laughs> just because I quite like the idea of having a white background. I just think that that will look nice. Maybe I could just do this like light blue color, which is quite nice. So I've done the design for the backing cards and I think it looks really good. I haven't done any text yet. I'm gonna scan it in and see what it looks like and yeah, then decide what kind of text I want. So I've just printed out a little test of my backing cards. It's looking a lot duller in the color, but I think that is just like what my printer does. Um, and you know, I'm only printing on cheap paper. My printer is just like a kind of bog standard printer. It's not a printer that I use for prints or anything. Maybe I should have printed lines around it. So it will go kind of like that. And I can read the text at that size, so that's fine. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna go and order them. I'm gonna take some photos of the patches and I thought it would actually look really cool to have it on like some denim or something working out where to put it and I thought also because these ones like actually I like having plants in pretty much all my pictures but especially as these are like plant patches let's see what this looks like yeah maybe a bit more a bit more plants in it but mm -hmm. Upgraded to um, <laughs> actual labels for like the customs label and the address labels. So yeah, feeling very professional and legit right now. So the pins and the backing cards have arrived and I have already had a little sneaky peek at the pins but yeah I was just too excited but I will show you and catch you up to speed. So we have tulip cats and this is like all sort of silver metal and then we have this little rose gold daisy cat it's so small. This one came out the smallest. I kind of did them all like about the same, like they're all kind of meant to be the same width, but because this one has like the paws, this one's paws are tucked in. Yeah, so the bluebell cat is the biggest. Yeah, so they're like the same width, but just the way that the bluebell cat is all kind of like tucked in 
um, kind of cat loaf style. But I think it looks really cute, the fact that it's dinky. Yeah, so I'm really, really happy with all of those. I think they've come out so cute. And I love the fact that I've done like a gold one, a silver one, and a rose gold one. We've got those. Right, let's get into this. So these are on recycled card and I think it's like pretty much the same paper that I got like for my um, thank you cards. They feel really good actually. <gasps> they look cute. I think I might do like more designs like these where I like hand draw the backing cards. I think that will go quite well. Um, oh, so let's, let's try one. Oh, I'm so excited try the combination oh <laughs> okay I should have maybe moved that one over a little bit more but you get the idea it kind of looks a little bit like um, the cats are kind of flying but they could be like magical cats or something oh I should really ask you what your favorite one is in the comments oh they're so shiny yeah, let me know what your favourite one is in the comments. Do you like the daisy cat, the blue earth cat, or the tulip cat? So these are going to be in my shop by the time this video goes out, so that will be linked in the description. Yeah, and I think I'm going to sign off the vlog here. But yeah, thank you so much for all your orders recently. Um, the cat sticky nuts... <laughs> I can never say this. The cats sitting on things stickers have been doing really well um yeah you all seem to really like them which makes me really happy and yeah thank you for being so patient while I tried to get them printed but yes as usual my Etsy shop will be linked in the description and yes I hope you're all doing well I'm sending you lots of virtual love and I will see you in the next video okay bye thank you for coming I know that you're trying